material, suicide squads, designed to fight cancer. We usually think of bacteria as the enemies of our body and rather try to fight them. It turns out, however, that there may be areas where certain properties of some microorganisms can be useful to us. A good example here is the fight against cancer. Scientists at Columbia University have genetically modified E. coli bacteria to find cancerous tumors in the body and then sacrifice themselves while alerting the immune system. The concept, resembling something like bacterial suicide legions, around which scientists are building a new anti-cancer strategy, uses microbes to deliver special proteins to the tumor that activate immune cells. The world of science has known for years that some bacteria are not only able to live inside tumors, but they do quite well there. How is this possible? Well, paradoxically, this environment can be quite friendly for them. The pH is low there, and the area itself is free from interference by the immune system. Therefore, the question may arise as to whether it would be possible to use it in some way. Such ideas are already emerging, and E. coli bacteria may prove useful in this context. This is about the probiotic strain, which under certain conditions would have the task of disintegrating, causing the previously prepared bacterial content to be released. The researchers decided to carry out trials in which microbes were added genes encoding proteins that either inhibit further tumor growth or mark it so that cells of the immune system can more easily target it. A key piece of this puzzle is the so-called chemokines. These are signaling proteins of the immune system. Different chemokines attract different types of immune cells and influence how they react. The researchers used a mutant version of chemokines that attract killer T cells. The strategy is that when enough modified bacteria accumulate in a tumor, they break down releasing chemokines, giving a clear signal to the immune system to attack. To make their task even easier, the researchers added another strain of bacteria that produces a different chemokine that would eventually attract dendritic cells. As a result, the detection of tumor antigens accumulates. Here's why. Dendritic cells begin to engulf cancer cells, then, through their appropriate antigens, let them know T cells, which in turn are then able to target the tumor much more easily and react much more specifically. So far, research on this method has been carried out on mice. The method worked. The bacteria prepared as described above elicited a strong immune response to the tumor cells that were injected together with the bacteria, but also to the much more distant tumor cells that were not injected. It also turned out that the use of this method by intravenous administration is also effective. At the same time, the injected bacteria remain completely harmless to the body itself. They inhabit only the tumor environment, and when the appropriate level is reached, they lies, break down, inside the tumor. So these bacteria are not detected in other parts of the body. The next steps will consist in optimizing the entire process, and the next important step will be conducting clinical trials.